It's true, I'm a little DI challenged, but up first is uh, from Kayla, one from Facebook, right here. I'm moving back home after college. Um, of course, she's on a tight budget. What a beauty, what a pretty, pretty girl. Mm -hmm. um, but she wants to know, now this is a good question, a lot of people don't know how to calculate this. How much paint do you need to paint a room? Mm. And is this the room that's being painted right here? I assume so, Okay, yes. so, well, good news. One of the most important things when you're trying to figure out how much paint you need is the texture of the wall, the porosity of the surface, how much water it's gonna soak in as you paint. I gotcha. Uh, so what I've got in front of me right here is essentially a piece of dry wall, drywall, and one half of it is primed and painted, which looks like is what you got, so that's great news. It's gonna take less paint. Um, and the other side is what a lot of people have to deal with, which is just rough drywall. And this is quite porous, so if we were to, for example, paint a little bit on these, you can see immediately this covers very quickly and easily because this is already a finished paint. Because it's primed. And this takes a little oh, bit more. Oh, look at that. Yeah. It's got a very low um, spread rate, so you might need more for, you know, a surface like this. Should she prime first? Not necessarily because it's such a finished room already. And the general rule of thumb is for one gallon of paint, it'll cover about 350 square feet. Wow. So what you need to start with is know how much the room measures. So gotcha. the, the length, the width, the height of the walls, it'll give you the square feet of wall space to cover. And because you've got a finished wall already, you're probably not gonna need more than one coat. You might need some spot touch-ups, but it's gonna uh, have a lot of coverage. Cool, good rule of thumb. Yeah, one that's pretty good. 350 square feet. Now, Rachel, if you don't mind doing a little bit of yellow on that side over here, I'm gonna do the blue on this. The other big thing to keep in mind is the color differential. No, on your side. So if you're going from Why dark... Why would I not think that this is for Rachel, this Rachel, come on, it's obvious that you have to paint on the blue and I'm gonna paint on the yellow. I'll paint on you. <laughs> Throw it up there, let's see what it looks like. Careful, you're gonna get some on yourself. See what's happening here? It's really showing through, whereas the blue paints right on. Now, yes, this might need another little bit of a coat too, a little bit of a touch up. But oh, so if you're going is, light on dark. If you're going light on dark, you're gonna need more than if you're going paint. dark on light. Exactly. I see. So if. I and, understand your point now, John. Do you okay. see? And by the way, this is art now. We can sell this. <laughs> we'll be selling this you on eBay. <laughs>